What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Need for Bill. I want to show you guys what it takes and how much it costs to modify an SQ5 to turn it into the ultimate sleeper car and also the ultimate supercar killer. I think one of the greatest things about owning an SQ5 is the fact that it can be turned into an easy sleeper. Nobody expects an SUV to do high twos, a zero to 60, especially on the streets. I mean, I can go to the grocery store, pick up my groceries, and on the way home, stop at a stoplight and see a Lamborghini next to me and give him a run for his money. Nobody expects an SUV to be moving this fast, especially on the road. Let me show you guys what's under the hood exactly. The first thing that we have is this beautiful integrated engineering intake for the B9 SQ5. It's gonna maximize airflow that's going into your turbo. Moving on from there, we're going into the integrated engineering turbo inlet. The difference between this one and the stock one is that this one will provide a lot more airflow available to the turbine. The turbo is not a stock turbo actually. This is the TTE A10 hybrid turbo from the turbo engineers. On the turbo, we have this a turbo smart diverter valve. And essentially what that does is help keep the pressure inside the turbine and redivert it. Behind the turbine, we have the CTS Catalyst downpipe. Not only does it sound amazing, I believe it also provides the least back pressure for the TTA 10 to make maximum horsepower. The last thing that you can see is this APR high pressure fuel pump, which is a 40% increase over the stock fuel pump and it provides a maximum fuel to the fuel rails and also to the injectors. I also have this fuel -lit Bluetooth sensor. When you're running ethanol, you wanna know the exact ethanol blend that you're running, whether it's E30, E40, E60, E70, what, depending on what tune you're calibrated with. So this fuel -lit Bluetooth sensor will provide all the data and information that you need. There's three injectors on each side for each cylinder on the left and the right side and essentially those are also upgraded to the RS injectors that come in the RS6, RS7. Now, depending on who you will be tuned by, at least as far as I know, Zero 03 Pro Motorsport and Integrated Engineering both require that you upgrade your map sensors when you're going to a hybrid turbo, whether that's a TTE 710, a Pure 750, or the TTE 810. You will have to upgrade your map sensors that sit right here on the charge pipe. Lastly, we have this big, big intercooler that's from Integrated Engineering that provides a maximum cooling for my hybrid turbo. So with these modifications from Integrate Engineering, this car is stage three plus with the TTE 810. Those modifications are just a performance modification. So what that means is that they either increase my power or they're part of the tuning or bolt-on hardware. Besides that, there's a lot of other separate modifications that you can do on your car to tighten up the chassis, tighten up the suspension. So we're gonna go through those modifications and show you what I've done with the car so far. You wanna be able to deliver all that power down to the ground and make sure that your shifts are crisp, your engine is crisp, you want the drivetrain and all the drivetrain components to be as stiff as possible, especially when you're making that much power. So the first thing that we're gonna get into is this 034 Motorsport X-Brace. I noticed a big improvement in how the car performed, especially on corners, it keeps the entire front end as tight as possible. So getting into what's under the engine, I can't get under the car right now, but I will show you guys what these modifications look like. You wanna start with the engine mounts. The engine mounts are known to go bad on the B9 platform fairly quickly, especially with the amount of torque that you're able to make from a stage one, stage two, especially the stage three tune. The engine mounts are filled with a hydraulic fluid from the factory and essentially what happens is the engine mounts eventually crack and they leak. 034 Motorsport offers an excellent solution with their street density engine mounts that I have installed on my car. Pay attention to how low the car is. It is sitting on KW V3 coilovers. Now, Audi does offer air suspension on most of their models. My car did not come with air suspension from the factory. Therefore, I opted out with the KW V3 coilovers. Not only do the KW V3 coilovers help stiffen up the car, you're also able to adjust the ride height. Now, I am sitting on these Ford Star 22s, which the car is a little bit higher, but then the KWs, I, I was able to dial them in to the perfect ride height where there's no rub. You'll be able to keep your suspension as tight as possible, no matter what, especially with these coilovers. They're perfect for track, perfect for the street, and also perfect for the drag strip. Speaking of a cornering, street performance and track performance, this car comes with some pretty tiny sway bars from the factory and also plastic end links, which absolutely suck. What I've opted out for are some 034 front and rear sway bar paired up with their billet end links that increase the cornering capabilities of this chassis. There's a lot more to the drivetrain. We get into the transmission, into the drive shaft, and also the rear diff that have a lot of slop from the factory. And once you start making some real power 
all of those components definitely need stiffening to be able to put power down to the ground reliably without any issues and also eliminating all slop. ZF8 transmission is an amazing transmission, but it definitely needs some stiffening components. So what I opted out for was a 034 transmission insert and also a 034 transmission amount, which stiffen up the trans and make the shifts a lot more crisp. Going further back past the transmission, there's also the drive shaft. I stiffen that up with a JXB drive shaft mount that removes the stock mount and replaces it with a brand new bushing and also a new mount that will make your drive shaft as stiff as possible. Now the drive shaft connects to the rear diff and here's another problematic area that you need to stiffen up. I opted out for the 034 Motorsport diff inserts that they provide to stiffen up the rear differential. Your rear differential also sits on the rear subframe. 034 Motorsport provides amazing subframe inserts that you can put into your car and essentially stiffen up the rear bushings and the rear subframe. Another modification that you can do on your car is upgrade your rotors and your brake pads. Now I've kept my stock pads because I believe that the stock pads do exactly what you want them to do. Stock rotors have a lot of issues of getting quite hot. So I've opted out for these 034 Motorsport lightweight rotors. They're a J-hook style rotor that also have really incredible cooling capabilities. So regardless of how hot your brakes get, your rotors will be able to cool down quite quickly. A lot of people complain about the gas mileage they get. Now, this car from the factory becomes actually quite efficient. On the stock tune, you would average around 20 to 22 miles a gallon. At least that's what I average. Your gas mileage will depend on if you're running pump gas or ethanol. So on pump gas, currently I'm averaging around 15 to 17 miles a gallon, depending on city or freeway driving. And on E70, I've averaged around 10 to 13 miles a gallon because of the ethanol blend and the amount of ethanol it takes to replace that gasoline. So if you're gonna complain about the gas mileage that you get on your 750 horsepower SQ5, I recommend that you don't buy one. But if you aren't gonna complain about it, tuning, modifying this beast right here is definitely worth it.